So let's talk Spotify for a minute. Every year, Spotify releases something called Spotify Wrapped, and it lets you know as a listener who are the top artists or bands that you've been listening to all year. You know, what are the top genres you've been listening to, and what's the top song that you've been streaming all year? That's what Spotify Wrapped is. But if you're an artist, if you're a musician or a singer or a rapper or even a producer, there's something called Spotify Wrapped for artists, and it does the same thing, but on the flip side, it lets us know how many people have been listening to our music. You know, how many times have something been streamed? What was the top stream? song that we have that's what spotify wrapped is and many times artists don't know what to do with those stats you guys don't even know what you're looking at you know that you're supposed to post it on your social media but you don't really know if that means anything or how you're supposed to improve on those stats going into next year so let's have that conversation today i want to talk to you guys about how you can improve your stats your spotify statistics and analytics going into next year and we're even going to look at my stats to see how your boy's been doing has your boy been on par or have i been slacking today we're going to talk about it. But before we do that, we got to show love to the sponsors. So if you want to learn more about them, check out the links in the description of this video. And as always, man, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell. And let's get to work. Salutes to that. Alright, so as I said in the beginning, Spotify Wrapped for Artists is essentially the story of your year. It's a, it gives you a general idea of how your music did, how your singles, your EPs, your albums did on Spotify, on the platform, just Spotify specifically, right? But in order to do that, we got to have some transparency. In order for me to help you guys, I got to have some transparency. So I'm going to show you guys my stats, right? Yeah, I know that that sounds kind of crazy considering most influencers don't really do that. The only people that are actually out here showing you guys their stats and their numbers are people that already have hundreds of thousands of followers or subscribers on their YouTube channel or their Facebook or Instagram, whatever it is. But to me, they're my stats. I own them like I, I put into work on all these other things. So I feel like what is there to hide? Just like you guys shouldn't be hiding from your stats. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my Spotify uh, wrapped for artists real quick and let's look like, let's look at what we got all right so here we go here are my stats here's my spotify wrapped for artists 2020 and you got your my streams here 140k the amount of hours the listeners about 47k and then the amount of countries that my music was played in which sits at 85. now honestly uh i think this is pretty good i'm i'm, I'm proud of these numbers uh i know how much work that i put in i know the things that uh, that I put in place, whether that's those strategies, their hacks, they're talking with other people, networking, all these other things. So for me, I feel good about those numbers. Now, do I want higher numbers? Absolutely. And I already have some ideas on what I want to do to get better, but I think these are pretty good. Now, there are some of you that automatically probably saw those and went, bro, I'm nowhere near those stats. I'm not even close. 140,000 streams? Sarge, how can I get those streams? How can I get those amount of hours? How can I get more countries to check out my stuff? I know some of you guys are thinking that. So I'm going to give you guys some ideas on ways that you can improve your stats if they're not exactly where you hope they would be, or you're just feeling discouraged and you just feel like, dang, I don't feel like I did much this year or I, I just I'm looking at my numbers and I feel like they're subpar or they're average. So I'm going to give you guys five things that you can do to get better or improve going into next year. OK, the first thing that I would say is for those of you that are looking at my numbers or you're looking at other numbers of other artists that are posting that you guys see posting their yearly stats. Be careful of comparing yourself to these other people and assuming the success or dictating the success of your year based on your numbers and theirs that is not a good thing to do you're going to discourage yourself very very quickly by doing that and to be completely honest the numbers can be deceiving numbers don't always equate to impact now some of y'all are sitting back like sorry that doesn't make any sense like if this person has fifty thousand streams and i barely had two thousand 
what do you mean like that doesn't equate to impact so i'm gonna bring back my numbers again as an example except we're gonna go back to some of my old numbers real quick so right here what i'm showing you guys is my spotify numbers for 2018 and as you can tell look you're looking at the streams here looking at the fans and the hours and the countries and you're like all right you know that's not bad that's pretty good now, let me pull up my 2019 numbers. And if you're looking at the 2019 numbers, you're like, all right, not bad. That's not bad either, Sarge, what's the problem? Well, I don't think some of you guys caught the difference between the two, so I'm gonna put them uh, up close on each other. And if you're looking, if you're looking at the streaming numbers, the 2019 numbers are actually down. If you're paying attention to that, they are down. The countries are up, but they are down when it comes to the streams. Now, the average person will look at that and they would go, oh, dang, Sarge, bro, you had a down year. Like, what's good? Did something happen? The honest truth is my 2019 was definitely better than my 2018, even though the streams don't reflect that. And you know why? Because my album came out in 2019, Hunger Pains. It charted, did really, really well. I got opportunities that I had never received as an artist. A whole bunch of things happened in 2019. And so... If I was to look at my 2018 and then look at my 2019 and assume, oh man, I was a failure because my 2019 stats weren't compared to 2018, I would miss out on all the wins from 2019. There were so many great things that happened, including I tried out different strategies, guys. I tried, tried out different artwork, different, uh, you know, um, structures, matter of fact, different style videos, different lightings, different things, even with these type of videos, guys, that I'm doing, my videos in 2017 and 18 and 19 look completely different than they do now. I might even bring up, a, I might, I'm gonna show you guys a screenshot so you guys can see the difference between then when I first started, when it was all bare wall, random things in the background, didn't really make sense, there was no direction, to now, got a little bit of lighting, you feel me, your boy up close, you know, just like the the, the mic, the, the audio quality is completely different. There's so many things that are different now. So. Be careful about uh, comparing your now with someone else's because you're probably in a different chapter of your career than they are. Stop comparing a ten year, someone that's been in for 10 years to your three to four years. Or someone maybe, maybe you have been in the game for like 10 years. Stop looking at someone that's younger or hasn't been in it that long and going, man, man they got so much more success than me. Man, like maybe I shouldn't be doing this. Stop comparing yourself to other people it's going to discourage you quickly okay now that leads me to my second thing that will help you guys improve going into next year and that's you got to give yourself room to grow some of you guys aren't giving yourself room to grow y'all are entirely too hard on yourselves listen some of you did all that you could do but this year was hard for everybody like covid changed everything y'all y'all hear me covid changed everything there was so much happening with with covid 19 and civil unrest and and, and job losses and, and there was so much happening for people people's like not just their physical state with whether it's injuries or things they might be dealing with personally but like mentally emotionally like spiritually a lot of us were affected on so many levels and i felt like a lot of you guys are so hard on yourselves now i ain't talking about the lazy i'm not talking about you lazy ones i'm not talking about y'all that like never really do, did anything prior to COVID and you're still not doing anything. If anything, COVID got, gave you an excuse to just further chill at home and do absolutely nothing but watch Disney Plus or Netflix or Power or Housewives or some rerun that doesn't really matter, Grey's Anatomy, whatever y'all watch. You know, I'm over here being judgmental. Uh, but whatever y'all watch, you know, please understand that some of you guys are just, just you're too hard on yourselves. Give yourself room to grow. You're not going to get everything right the first time or the second time or even the third time. Keep go growing. Keep pushing. I know some of you guys are looking at your numbers and you're like, dang, I've been I've been writing. I've been singing. I've been rapping. I've been pr producing. And I'm, yeah, I'm seeing improvements, but I'm not where I want to be yet. That's okay, keep that drive, keep pushing, but make sure you give yourself room to make mistakes and, and you allow yourself room to grow because everyone's had to fall at some point. All right, so the third thing when it comes to improving your numbers, when Spotify wrapped for artists, let you know what was your top, uh, you know, the song that was streamed the most for you. Pay attention to that song. Be honest with yourself, take a step back and ask yourself, what specifically about that song 
caused it to be the most popular this year? You know, like legitimately ask that question and try to be as unbiased as possible, right? Was it the songwriting? Was that, was it, did you write that song differently than you normally do? Was your writing process for that different than you normally do? What made that special? Was it the production? Like, do you normally produce it yourself, but this time you allowed someone else to produce it and it, and it really popped? Or was it vice versa? Normally you allow other people to produce it, but this time you produced it. You know, what was the difference? Did you have people help you this time? Was it, is it because you had a music video for this, for this one? Is it because you had a social media game plan? Is it because you actually had music marketing, music promotion? Is it because you got on a particular playlist? Be honest with yourself. Were you contacting blogs? Why did that specific song get so many streams on social media? Were you emailing people? Whatever that was, continue try, you know, or, or try to continue with that strategy or those ways going forward and see if it continues to push the rest of your music uh, in, a, in, the po in a positive direction that will help you be successful. So number three is take a step back and see what were you doing with that most played song, the one that Spotify said did, did really, really well and see if you can repeat those results. Number four, listen guys, y'all need to hear this one. Be honest with yourself. Did you do enough this year? That's a simple question. Did you personally do enough this year? As in, did you write enough songs this year? Did you release more than one song this year? Did you make enough beats this year? Or were you only making like two or three beats, you know, every six months or so? Were you doing enough? Be honest. I don't know. I never thought I'd get this far. Look, you got to ask the question. I got to ask you the question because for some of y'all, some of your stats may look low because your productivity was low. And some of you guys are expecting to have high numbers and high stats and things like that. But the amount of time and effort and research and videos and whatever it is that you've been doing has been low compared to all your peers. So make sure you ask the question, did I really put in as much work this year? Like, was I writing songs this year? Was I making new beats this year? Where was I trying out different uh, styles of music this year? Was I collab? Was I collabing enough with other artists this year? Be honest. Was I promoting this year? Was I sharing other people's music this year? Well, like, what what were you doing this year? Were you on the couch? Were you online shopping all the time? Were you playing the latest video game? Were you on COD? Were you on 2K? Were you on Cyberpunk? Were you on Spider-Man? What were you doing? I have to ask these questions. Anyway, look, be honest with yourself. Were you spending that necessary time being the greatest artist or producer that you can be? Okay, and my last point that will help you guys moving forward year after year after year when it comes to your music and your, and your streams with Spotify is simply this. Make sure that you guys are actually celebrating your wins. When you get a dub, celebrate it. Look, many of you guys can't move forward and you're not seeing real progression in your career because you're so focused on where you're not. You're so focused on the opportunities you haven't received yet. You're so focused on the other people that you feel like have more subscribers or followers than you or have more engagement th than you or their videos look better. You're so focused on that that you've completely missed the boat and you're not celebrating your wins. Think about it, th think about it this way. How were your stats looking like last year? When you look at your stats last year compared to this year, how do they look? How do they look? When you look at your music, when you listen to your music, how did your music sound three years ago? I bet you're a way better artist than you were. I bet you're a way better singer than you were three years ago. I bet you're a way better rapper, producer, engineer than you were two to three years ago. What about your videos? I guarantee you those are better than what they used to be. I bet some of you guys had the $20 mic, the $50 mic. Now, some of y'all didn't upgrade it. Some of y'all are on that $150, $200, $250, maybe even $500 mic. Some of you guys used to be on that USB mic, but now you're like, no, nah, I got me an audio interface now. I'm straight. Some of y'all even got the pop filter with the stand and the, uh, uh, the acoustic foam and the shield. Some of y'all didn't upgrade it. Now, granted, it's not studio quality like you want yet, but you've upgraded, you went to the next level, but you guys won't even celebrate the next level. You have to enjoy where you are in order to get where you're trying to go. Enjoy the wins, enjoy the dub. Look, regardless of how your stats look this year, guys, you're better this year. You're better going into next year as well. You're better and you're stronger than you have ever been. It doesn't matter what your surrounding situation looks like. 
It, it don't matter what your home life look like. It don't matter what your finances look like. It doesn't matter what folks on your job talking about or what they're not talking about. Maybe you don't even have a job. It does not matter. You are better for it. You are stronger than you were last year. So keep moving and keep pushing. Y'all already know the motto is to live authentic. But how y'all feel about this video? Did y'all like this video? Did you enjoy it? Did you feel like it was helpful? If so, man, go ahead and hit that like button and hit that subscribe button so y'all get notified every time I drop a new video. Also, if there's a particular topic that y'all want me to talk about, go ahead, drop it in the comment section. I do read my comments and I will add y'all suggestion to the list. And as always, man, be you, enjoy your life and live authentic. Salutes to that and I'll catch y'all later.